Hi, Gemini. I'm an energy worker I'm coming forward today with a 10-day reading for the sign of Gemini. So anyone who has Gemini in their chart, um, this could resonate with you. Um, just remember, this is a general reading. It will not fit for everyone. It may only make sense for a few of you. Okay, Gemini, let's get right into your energies and see what's in store for you in the next 10 days. All right, next 10 days for the sign of Libra. The next 10 days... Look at that. We have the sun and the moon in the same reading, and we have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in the same reading. So I feel like there's definitely here soulmates. There's definitely soul connections here. There's definitely the divine here. There is the universe at work here. Something beautiful is happening, Gemini. Something truly beautiful is happening in this next 10 days. So, Gemini, it looks like whatever that you were waiting for, Whatever mystery that was in your life that you were waiting for, that those information that those details have come out now, right? You have found clarity on whatever you were waiting for. Something, some confession, something here happened, whatever it was that brought clarity to your situation. Not only did it bring clarity to your situation, there was a message or or something that came from it that was um, quite um, a, an indicator of future success, okay? So not only was there a confession or something that came to light, but also some kind of a beautiful message that is, has given you a sense of um, excitement or anticipation about some beautiful new potential here that could come forward to you in the near future, all right? It looks like we do have a, que a king of pentacles here that has walked away from a certain kind of infra a, a certain kind of situation or an experience or even a relationship that he was maybe living in for quite some time that was empty that was not fulfilling in any way that was not loving there was nothing there there was no rain there was no um there was nothing to to help bring lushness to the situation. There was no feeding it, right? There was no watering it. There was no tending for it or caring for it. It was empty. And, and this King of Pentacles has walked away from that experience. And I think that he's looking towards um, a brand new experience with you in some way. Now, I feel like this walking away from a situation might not have been very recent. It could have been some time ago um, because it looks like he did um, spend some time moving into a more peaceful place and, and finding a, a sense of, of stability with within himself and with his exterior world. All right, so this took some healing for him, but he has now found a sense of stability again. He has found um, his his foundation again, being um, a king of pentacles, um, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very important for these energies to feel um, like there is security around them, and they will work very, very hard to bring security into their experience. And so when the King of Pentacles walks away from something and changes his life so so radically, this can take some time to get back into um, alignment again, into balance again. But it looks like he's done that, and he's moved forward through um, uh, through heartbreak. He's, he's really um, been very courageous and has really learned... Um, how to overcome the battle scars and the heart scars um, that he carries with him. All right. So he's really moved from a period of, of, of um, barren experience into um, a new beautiful reality. And he's wanting to come forward and offer um, Gemini a, a something beautiful, an offer of love. Um, he does feel like you are his soulmate. Um, we do have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. He does want to bring you into his own experience. He wants to offer you something very committed. He wants to build something with you. He wants to work on something with you. You guys could have work that you do together. Whatever this is, it brings a lot of financial stability to both of you. All right. So it could be that both of you are power players. It could be that both of you have your own wealth, that both of you have your own uh, very precise set of, uh, set of skills um, that you 
um, bring into the workplace. Whatever this is, th these are two very matured, very well manifested people that are coming together to create some kind of a power situation here. Because we have the eight of we have the eight of pentacles, we have the six of pentacles, and we have the sun energy. So whatever the both of you are going to do, it will be abundant. It will be abundant in love. It will be abundant financially, and it will be abundant in a generous way. So there will be generosity here for each other. There will be generosity for others, and there will be generosity in entirety, whether it's generosity in the, in, in the free flowing of money, generosity in the free flowing of communication and words. There is generosity and there is reciprocity here in this, in this beautiful love story. It is such a beautiful love story. I, this is, this is my favorite one of the day because I'll tell you why. We're talking about a masculine energy here that has gone through something significant and has learned how to find healing and balance after that. And I think that is really commendable and it's beautiful. And then we have this, this, um, beautiful, um, Gemini energy here that is in a place of real gentleness, mildness, consistency, very much um, taking on some of the energies of earth, which is that gentle, mild, continual movement forward. And we see that of the Gemini energy here. And so it's, it's a beautiful energy of this King of Pentacles bringing forward this offer of love to the Queen of Pentacles, the Gemini energy here, offering not only love, but something more significant, something that can be built upon, something that could could be someday a new foundation for the both of you. But it does look like there's something more here. There's something bigger. There's something that maybe both of you are going to work on. You could be going into some kind of a life mission or some kind of a life path together. Whatever it is, it's going to bring healing, whether it's healing for your own situations or your own hearts or healing for the world in some way or Mother Earth in some way. Whatever this is, there's healing here. There's power here. There's positivity. There is a real sense of, of wonder. Um, there is a real joy that comes from both of you. And I think really with the sun energy, there's a youthfulness here that feels really good for both of you. It's, it's a, it's a beautiful, this is a beautiful love story. It really, truly is. And this is going to happen to a group of you in the next 10 days. This is so exciting. You know, the offer might come in the next 10 days. I'm not sure if all this will take place in the, in the next 10 days, but it does look like the offer will come forward in the next 10 days or so. So that's pretty exciting. I love it. Let's look at, let's look at this offer of love. Let's look at this um, Knight of Cups. Why is a Knight of Cups here? That's too many, too many, too many, too many. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here? We kind of know why the Knight of Cups is here. I'm just looking for a little bit more information here. Clarify the Knight of Cups, please. Clarify the Knight of Cups. It might be, I, I'm kind of feeling like it's silly to clarify this for some reason. I feel like that's the message I'm getting. But here we go, Six of Wands. So this Knight of Pen or this King of Pentacles is moving forward to bring an offer of love to the Queen of Pentacles. Now he feels, this is how he feels. He feels nervous about this, but he's willing to take a risk. He, he is sure enough and he feels the connection um, strong enough that he's willing to step forward, take some risk and move into this experience with you, knowing that you de could decline his offer. He is taking that risk. He, he could be someone in the public eye. He could be someone who, um, is works at the chamber or works someplace or, or has some kind of duties or responsibilities, um, of, of leadership of some kind. Um, he could be, you know, he could be, even being recognized as bringing forward an offer of love to you. It could even be something that is talked about around town or is, is some kind of newsworthy item, this offer of love being brought forward to the Queen of Pentacles. All right, let's look at, let's look at the sun energy. Why is the sun energy here? The High Priestess. Four of Swords. I mean, it's it's a beautiful energy. It's talking about healing. 
right? It's talking about your wishes coming true. It's talking about having the intuition that this would be here, knowing that something beautiful was coming your way and really learning how to call that to you with a high priestess. And this is your wishes coming true. The, those wishes, those dreams, those prayers that you offered up, um, you're seeing these, these um, coming true now and it feels really good it brings a lot of healing and peace into your experience here because i think um, for both of you you could have had some real rough patches um, that made you question if you were ever going to experience something so beautiful as this and we do see um, that it's coming together in such a beautiful way and i think gemini this could even be surprising for you i'm not even sure if you were even ready for this it's almost like it just comes knocking one day and you, and you maybe don't even know um, that it's that it's coming towards you. This King of Pentacles. Let's look. To, let's ask for more information about the King of Pentacles. Please give us more information about the King of Pentacles, please. More information about this King of Pentacles. More information about this King of Pentacles, please. Queen of Cups, the World, and the Ace of Swords. So this King of Pentacles, again, has moved through a situation and has learned how to really value himself. Um, he has he has learned how to um, really think about what he wants in his life, what he what brings him joy and happiness, what makes him feel fulfilled, what makes him feel secure in life. And he's really starting to take actions in his own life to um, meet up with what he would like in his life. So this is somebody that maybe overgave in the past. Maybe this is somebody that stayed in a relationship that was hurtful. Maybe this is somebody that's been taken advantage of by other people because of the wealth that they have acquired. It doesn't matter. This is someone who has really learned how to value them himself and is learning how to put himself first. Think about himself first, not all the time, but make sure that he is taking in consideration of himself and what brings him happiness as he makes decisions about how to move forward, all right? This is somebody that's wanting a new start here. We have the world energy. This is someone that's wanting a new start with, with you, Gemini. And this is someone who is coming forward with some kind of communication because he knows that you are the one or he feels like you are the one. You are the one for him. This is the relationship that he's been waiting for and he's coming forward with a, with a beautiful offer of love to you please tell us more about the four of wands the four of wands please four of wands please Three of Cups, celebration, happiness, joy, reunion, overcoming sadness, overcoming pain, overcoming anguish. Three of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles, right? This is, this is really um, talking about the time that you have put in, the investments you have put towards yourself, the pain and the experiences you have experienced in the past. This is really looking at all those things and really feeling the gratefulness, feeling the happiness and the joy at a potential to experience a new and beautiful love. So this is um, taking stock of what has happened in the past. I'm um, looking at the pain of the past and really overcoming that to step into a brand new relationship here with the Four of Rods and the King of Pentacles. Let's look at the energies that are here in this reading before I forget. We have the moon, which is Pisces energy. We have the King of Swords, which is usually Aquarius, but it can be Gemini, and it also can be Libra. We have the King of Pentacles, which is often Taurus, but it can be Capricorn or Virgo. We have the Knight of Cups, which is Pisces energy. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is usually Capricorn energy, but it could be the Feminine Taurus or the Feminine Virgo. And we have the Sun, which is often Leo. The Sun also denotes healing and positive positivity. Stay well and have a nice weekend. Thank you, Gemini.